Dave Dexter didn't tell you, his son and my son played baseball together, and I can tell you, uh, we made him announce some games this year, and he's a heck of an announcer. <laughs> I've got the honor of introducing the next speaker, uh, Russell Carlson, who's with the National. Come on up, Russell, I'll say a few words. Uh, Russell and I go, go back, uh, since I've talked about Casey, Casey Cable, Lieutenant Governor, Russell was an intimate part of his team, and uh, helped get Casey elected working on his campaign and then work, went to work at the state senate and was uh, one of the top aides to Casey Cagle and one of the first people I met after Casey got elected with Russell. And uh, it was a great pleasure to work with him. I can tell you when he speaks, you're going to find out he's in the South. <coughs> and I laughed. I, we drove up at the same time. I got out of his car and he usually didn't have a beard. And he got out and I looked at him and I said, my God, Russell, you look like a Confederate general. <laughs> But, uh, but he's a uh, he's, uh, adjutant general of the uh, National Guard, and I can tell you the general of the National Guard is Jim Butterworth. And Jim is a former colleague of mine in the Senate. And I'll tell you a little story about Jim. Uh, he has got ostracized. His uncle is Ellis Perry. You remember Ellis Perry was a great scout. And his ne uh, nephew was Jim and Joe Perry, and he's kin to the Perry family. So. Most of y'all know the players in the great family they are and, uh, in Mount Oscar. Jim Butterworth's done a great job as a general because his, his number two man is Russell Carlson. And Russell, we're so proud to have you in Mount Oscar. Please give him, we're so proud of our national guard by the way, he's going to speak on that. But giving him a great hand, we're proud to have Russell, the general of the Georgia National Guard here today.